Thanks for joining me tonight. I hope everybody's having a good day. I am having a great week. I'm just a little tired tonight. It has been a lot of late nights, 12 hour days. We're getting there though, we're getting there. So tonight I am working on my penguin party with Elizabeth Hartman and I am sipping on a uh, cab salve uh, from Volcanos in Chile, I believe is the um, vineyard. And just bringing up my feeds here. So I was thought maybe if um, you guys wanted me to, we could do kind of a walk around of the new space. Um, I'd be happy to do that. Let's see here. Okay. All right, Peggy's on. Hi, Peggy. And Debbie's on from Kentucky. Hi, hi, hi. Let's see here. Let me get you two up. Um, I forgot my contacts, my eyeballs tonight. Hey, babe, that's really loud. Um, so I'm sorry. My glasses are really glary, so I'm going to try to see what I can see without... I am living where I used to camp, Kathy. That is, that was the goal. That was the goal. My husband's job went remote and he looked at me and he said, where do you wanna go? And I'm like, gosh, you know, we, we go camping in Idaho a minimum of once a year, but we've been here like four or five times a year. And he's like, well, let's go. Let's just move to where we camp. I said, okay, let's do it. All right, I have my YouTube feeds up. So if you're out there and wanna say hi, I'd love to say hi. Hi, Jeanette, hello, hello. Elizabeth is on from Indy. His job went remote. So he kept his job and he was able to work from wherever he wants to. COVID helped that along for him. So my husband's whole team works remotely now and uh, they all are loving it. Although lately he's been working, working for me. <laughs> Sorry guys, I got a smudge on my glasses. All right, so tonight, it's actually fall has kind of come in here to north idaho and it's kind of cold outside and it looks like we're going to be getting some weather some some rain it's been a long hot summer here oh that's better i can see oh yeah judy p so i'll show you guys uh we were hanging metal roofing um as part of our decor and i took off the top of my metal. what do you do all right, Angel's over. Yes, I have my large Marge out, Angel. Angel's over on YouTube tonight. Patty's on from Spokane. Hi, Patty. <laughs> oh, Facebook is giving me trouble, she says. That's okay. I don't mind. Yes, you do see a boo boo on my finger. Hi, Kathy Kine from Illinois. And Tracy's on from Virginia. Hi, hi, hi. Let's see. Linda's on. Um, I said, you know. Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda McDaniel. Thanks for joining us. Therese is on. We are all good. Bernadette's on from Canada. Hi, Florian. Another Canadian Northern Ontario representative. Hello, hello. So we are working on Penguin Party tonight. I can't remember where I was at. I think I was still making eyeballs. Wasn't I still making eyeballs? Let's see, I might have to cut these apart. Well, I know I need other whites on it. Ray, can you hand me my scissors? Okay, let's see here. Franny says, tell Andy I said he's done a fantastic job. He did, oh my gosh, I'm not saying that. <laughs> he's fine, Franny. <laughs> he deserves a thank you, is that it? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> thank you, Franny. 
<laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Um, let's see here. Pam Green's on. I know, Peggy. It kind of hurts. Nancy's on from Navarre, Florida. Hi, Nancy. I think you're Mel and Joe's buddies. Linda is on from Tennessee. Pam's on from Maine. And there's Kathy. I got your, your message about the maintenance mats. Check, check. <gasps> Polly's on. Yay. Tell what you're about. I will. So, <laughs> Odie's on from Oregon. Let's see. <laughs> Kathleen's on from SoCal. Okay, guys, I'm gonna keep going on my little eyeballs here. Do you wanna do you wanna shop preview? Does everybody wanna walk around? Let me do this. All right, and then let me take this camera. Let me take this camera. Hi, and I'm gonna walk you around in front. Hold on. Okay, you guys ready to see the space? Okay, there's my tools. Very exciting. So this is all of our ugly back stock. Inventory. I just got that refrigerator today. I'm pretty excited about the refrigerator, if I'm being honest. No painting. So this is the classroom. There's Erin. Right there. She's my new Isabel. She's my new gal that helps with the shipping. You know this gal? Ray, say hi. <laughs> this is Andy's tool department. Actually, it's not. Okay, so this is still, we're rocking towards the night. Look, I put it to work, ladies. Say hi, Ann. Hi. <laughs> all right, so this is it from the door. So see all of the warehouse windows we have? And then this is what I cut myself on earlier, is this corrugated metal. And there's another kiosk and another window. This is my new long arm. And then this ball is going to be all brick. And that's the third So we're going to the wave, and the brick's going to go all the way to the back wall. And I still have to paint our logo on this brick wall. That, I don't know what that's going to happen. So yeah. This is what all the banging has been about. This whole wall. These are going to have windows in them. And then this one is going to have frosted windows, so you can't see all of that. So there you go. And back here. Let's see. Oops, sorry guys. Hang on. Selfie. Oops, sorry. Okay. There we go. <laughs> oh, just uh, refresh. Wonder why. I'm on the right Wi Fi. All right. Let's see here. All right, Nancy's on from Arizona. All right, all right. Thanks, Rhonda. She says, looking great. We've done so much already, Polly. I feel like we should be done, but we're not. I get on a plane on Sunday for Phoenix, so um, <laughs> you guys are so cute. Uh, there's not any vino in the fridge, Polly. What the heck? <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Thanks for joining us over on YouTube. Peggy, all the girls think you've done a lot, honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, friends. So I have one more thing to show you. Thank you. So we got another, we got one of our new products in this week. So for those of you who I've been kind of telling this to, it's our new maintenance mat. It's like a big mouse pad. Bye, Maren. Thanks for everything, babe. And it looks like this. Look, it has all of the oil holes and everything, and it looks like a blueprint. So excited. It is definitely a dream, Franny, a dream. That fridge needs stocking with Vino and beer for Andy ASAP. I agree, Polly, I agree. All right, let's see. Oh, I guess I should thread up Large Marge here. So I have my 301 out because I took one of my, I took Morticia 
home to the rental house, our Airbnb we're living in for the winter. And I forgot to bring her back. So she's at home right now. So I'm going to be sewing with my 301 tonight. She's very nice to sew with, I can assure you. Very fast, very, very take your fingers off fast. <laughs> yes, the, I'm, I, I'm not pre-selling the mat until the first, but I wanted to give you guys a preview. There's more stuff to coming. It's just not here just yet. All right, let's see. I'm all threaded up. Thanks, Quinn. Ugh, I think it's finally starting to feel like a real something or other. So that's exciting. It's been a, just a four alarm mess and construction zone for so long. I need a maintenance that love the blue. We'll have to figure something out how to get you one in UK, Polly. <laughs> oh, darling, my husband just texted. I have a package from Featherway Doctor at home. I didn't know you put an order in. Ray's supposed to tell me when she recognizes names. Oh, Peggy, Peggy has a serious waiting for, yes, there is a wine glass too. Uh, Judy P. Let's see. Peggy says, I have a, ser a sewing question, but I can wait till my... No, tell me what your sewing question is, Peggy. Let's just... Let's do it. I've had three sips of wine. I think I can handle it. Ooh. Large Marge is too fast here. <laughs> These are my finished eyeballs. Let's put the finished eyeballs all together. gonna order bobbins for the oh no we have bobbins for the 301 Rhonda I'll check our inventory we we have bobbins the 301 and the 221 bobbins are the same and I just saw an entire bag today when we were cleaning so I know I have bobbins but if you can't get the website to work just give me a call and I'll get you taken care of over the phone have you ever sewn a narrow hem on sheer fabric. So when you say narrow hem, Peggy, are you talking about like the roll with the rolled hem, hem or foot? I haven't sewn very much sheer fabric at all on the featherweight because I'm mostly a quilter and quilters use the quilters cotton. Oh, oh, it's probably your threads. Do we get the thread stand out to Sandy? Yes. Oh, it is your thread stand. And I have yet to bill you for that. I need to do that. Okay. Um, Rhonda, I'll check my, as soon as I'm off my show, I'll check the, um, the bobbin backstop. Unfortunately, I can't, my phone is one of my cameras and I can't, uh, do it all at the same time. Let's see, Franny says, I'm working on 24 pieces for my grand's 200, I'm sorry, not 24, 240 pieces Ooh, for my grandson's quilt. Why, why do you <laughs> all like cutting and piecing again? Cause it's fun. <laughs> mm. Oh, Linda Wood, Linda Wood has a suggestion for you, Peggy about using your serger first, then fold on your thing. <gasps> Deanna, you guys, Deanna's on. She picked up a heck of a featherweight today from me. I got two very shiny new machines in, a 61 and a 54. 
and I hadn't even had a chance to do anything with them yet because I literally just got them the other day and, you know, all the things. And so Deanna called right at the right time. So, yes, her little beauty is sitting right here behind me. Hi, Jen Jen. <laughs> yes, I need just need to bill you for that. Um, Sandy, I'll probably just send you a PayPal invoice. Franny, I haven't billed Franny for her two thread stands I sent out either. Just all of the things these days. Uh-oh, I broke my thread. Hi, Mary. Mary, you're not supposed to be working. You're not supposed to be having fun while you're working. Don't tell anybody. I won't turn you in, girl. So we had lots of packing today um, for Phoenix. I am so excited to go see my girls down at Quilters Oasis. They are near and dear to my heart. I've got four full workshops down there next week. Um, a quilt as you go one day seminar, the two day quilting uh, reach or class, and then a featherweight maintenance, which is awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing my great in-laws. And then, because they're great in-laws, they're following me home to help with the opening of the store. <laughs> Everybody should have in-laws as wonderful as mine. Hello, Audrey. Wow, that's, let me read all this, let's see. Oh, Peggy says, I'd rather quilt, but my daughter needs a hem fixed on a dress she's wearing in a wedding. I totally understand. The top thread guide on the featherweight seems to almost be useless because I can never get my thread to stay in it. I did purchase a thread stand from Featherweight Shop that has a little black rubber piece that goes on there. But heck that it comes off. What do you suggest? So personally, I am not a fan of that thread stand that goes into the oil holes. I think that's the one you're talking about that you purchased um, because I do have trouble with it popping out of tensioners and guides for that very reason. I like the ones that we sell that sit behind the machine and there's enough tension on the thread and it holds it just in the right position to not slip out of that thread guide. Um, I, don't, I don't really have another suggestion other than that. That one that goes in the oil hole is not my favorite um is not my favorite tool most of the time it doesn't even fit in the oil hole because not all oil holes were created equal so there's that too <laughs> i will think who put you in time out thank you for your question audrey mary who put you in time out jennifer's on hi sweetheart Thinking about you, I got your quilt today. I got your box. It's sitting right underneath me. It's not coming out of the box until the dust stops. First long arm order for the new shop. Thank you so much for supporting us. Yay. Let's see, Sherilyn says, tell Ray I'm getting my first order tomorrow. <gasps> my granddaughter's name is Reagan. That's awesome. She is a Reagan too. She just prefers to go by Ray. She announced it at 10. She says, just so you know, you can call me Ray. And we're like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Can't wait, Audrey, oh my gosh, Odie, I cannot wait to see you in person. That would be so much fun. All right, go back to work. Bye, Mary, thanks for joining us. Okay, good, that's what you do with your thread instead. Good, good. Rhonda said, I had trouble with the thread guide too that goes in the oil hole. I got the thread stand and it's so much better. I agree, Rhonda. Thank you so much for saying that. All right, let's see here. All right, YouTube's quiet tonight. Where are my YouTube ladies and gentlemen? Where's Osman in Turkey? I bet Mel and Joe 
are busy with another storm tonight. I saw that they were getting another, they had flash flood warnings down there on the Gulf Coast. Angel, you live down in Houston. What is it about Houston that makes you want to live right in that alley of all of those really big storms that come through? Because I think having to evacuate every couple weeks for a storm sounds pretty awful. hardest part about sewing flannel is is telling telling which one which way is the right way that's really hard to do all right look I have almost all of my little eyeballs done oh my gosh Franny <laughs> is that why everybody lives in Texas because the Cowboys are yummy <laughs> Funny. Let's see, Peggy says, I've been reading a lot lately about starching your fabric before cutting pieces. Does anybody do that? Sometimes I do, 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 do that. That's, I'm saying that, right? Yes. Um, I have definitely heard of that technique for starching. It works pretty good. Things don't stretch, especially I've heard if you're working with bias edges. So if you have that 45 degree cross cut, it starching is actually a really good idea. Let's see, Mary said, or Missy says, had to run out and pick up my dahlias from the rain is so hard tonight. Hooray for rain. You definitely live in Western Washington, Missy. You just gave yourself away without actually saying it. Sandy says, do you know why there are no feather weights from 1965 or were there? I just can't find. So no, they, the, um, the, Sandy, the lots of featherweights were pretty sporadic after about the early 60s. So there may not be, I haven't memorized that date list, but there may not be actually any featherweights from that year. I can't remember off the top of my head. I know there were 64s because I have three white ones from 1964 available. <laughs> Yes, yeah, smaller pieces are half square triangles. Exactly. Miss Kathy, exactly. Apparently, Darlene said my grandmother confirmed. Yes, yes, there was a fire. That's right. So that, well, that's why the records were spotty, but I, I think that's why the lots were also pretty sporadic. They had also developed new models and all that fun stuff. So let's see. Audrey says, a single question, but not specific. Featherweight, after seeing one of your Facebook episodes, a cute little iron caught my eye. I purchased three different ones. Two of the three do not have the temperature regulator, so they get really hot. I do not trust them. I My little cutie pie has, oh, where did it go? Oh, it's right here. Has the temperature regulator on it, Audrey. Um, it is a singer. I was just using it earlier, so I have it out. See, is it hot still? It's still warm. So you can see it has the dial on it so I can set it to my fabric selection and it works like a charm. I actually don't put it to cotton because it does get too hot. So I usually set it on the rayon silk setting and it does a great job. I don't know what vintage the iron is though. There's no date on it. Sandy says, I have a little, I have a white one, 64 white one. That was my 20, you bought one for $20 at a garage sale. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Gloriana says, mine is a 63, but she stinks. I think you mean she smells. <laughs> I assume she hasn't been cleaned on the inside for a long, long time. That's funny. Oh, <laughs> Polly says, mysterious Blanche is a 68, 69. There you go. It was that UK fire.
<clears throat> Odie says, is anyone from the tribe <gasps> going to be in Sandpoint September 29th and 30th before the grand opening? I will be. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> I'd love to know if anybody else is coming so we can hang out a little bit. Oh my gosh, Angel, you are making me cry. Yes, the cowboy in their cowboys and the jeans are a good reason to be in Texas. Girls, really? <laughs> uh, Kathleen says, in SoCal, I always starch my fabric for cutting, especially for quilting. For sure, for sure. Let's see, Audrey said, I have one of those also, just like yours. It's my favorite. Actually, I actually have a big fat fancy iron in a box over there. I haven't taken it out yet. <coughs> and it's so much easier to just take this one out. Ray, did FedEx ever come today? I think so. Where are the boxes? Nope. They came, oh, hmm, okay. Let's see, Franny says, my baby sister, and, and I'm not mentioning names, but just the part, <laughs> just the part owner of the Featherweight Company. Thank you. <laughs> it is addictive, I totally agree. Oh, that's interesting. Jeanette says, my zigzagger was made in Great Britain. Is that common? It is. The fancy, fancy, expensive one is was made in Switzerland. It's like in a white box. Oh, forgot to show that on Monday night when I did the zigzagger one. I should have totally brought that out. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> Jen, Jen, oh, Jen Anderson Camp. Yes, they're gonna be, I know you guys are, you have your hands full right now, Jennifer Anderson. I totally get it. Oh my gosh, Sandy Martin, that would be amazing. Oh, you're so sweet. My white went stunk until I had a featherweight doctor spa day via Zoom. Nice. Oh, Blanche, previous owner, mysterious Blanche. Her previous owner put a piece of felt on the hard board base, so I replaced it with the new. It's probably the gear grease that's thinking. I totally agree with you. But your, but Polly, your white one shouldn't have any gear grease because there's no gears. Let's see. Um, oh, Kathleen wants to know about the starch. I really like the, is it something, Best Press? Something Best Press? We're not carrying it just yet at the store, but I really do like that kind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Kathy's coming. Kathy lives in Addie, Washington. She's just about an hour and a half from me. She doesn't have an excuse. She has to be here to represent the sisters. Kathy Zoka is the sister to Mary and Franny. owner puts them on the bobbin shaft no oil not grease oil <laughs> oh good the lavender scent is the best oh that's good to know okay I am gonna be carrying it soon but I, I just I had to I had to limit myself if you know what I mean I could have ordered all of the things See, I need to make sure I have enough eyeballs here for my penguins. Okay. <laughs> no, Franny, I know she's not the bad sister. Let's see here. So I should have 40 eyeballs, right? Two eyeballs per penguin. If I did my math right. Kathy, you can be the bad sister? I find that very hard to believe. Yeah, 
Evo Twin Denise is on her way up here to visit with me. We're going to have dinner together. It's so exciting. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Angel says, best press is awesome. I love how you spray the fabric and a lot of the wrinkles just fall out before you even iron it. That's pretty cool. Gloriana says, or Glorianne, Gloria Ann, I'm sorry, Gloria Ann, I apologize. Franny Mae may come with the original oil can and two tubes of, gre of gear grease, not to mention the bells and whistles. That's awesome, very cool. Make sure, yes, thank you, Andy. Um, Gloria Ann, don't use the grease that came with her. The old grease is past its shelf life. It's not useful anymore. And as long as the oil hasn't yellowed, the oil is okay, but don't use the grease on your on your beautiful Franny or Fanny Mae machine. <laughs> I'm anxious to see your penguins when they're all done. Me too, with three thousand pieces per penguin. <laughs> you are probably too busy for movies. I. I totally watched the Amazon Cinderella movie. I meant to bring it up last week and I forgot. Did you guys see her sewing machine? Eek! I was so like, that's an antique singer. It was pretty cool. I You had to get over all the like, the fact that they broke into song every two minutes, but totally worth a watch. The Amazon, I think it's Amazon Prime. There are new Cinderella, it's pretty cool. <laughs> you do have me fooled, Kathy. Ooh, let's do breakfast, Odie. I should be able to do that on the 29th. Let's message about it. If any of you all are coming in for the opening, let's let's get together outside of the actual opening. Because once the doors open, it's going to be silly in here. So let's get together ahead of time. The oil has turned hard and the grease tubes have never been opened and never will. Okay, good. Good, good. <laughs> oh, Corella. Yes, Corella also has the antique sewing machine. Okay, let's count eyeballs. I feel like we're, you know, doing something like Halloween-ish by counting eyeballs out. Let's see, I got my pile. Let's see. Let's make piles of 10. How many did I say I needed? There's 20 penguins, 40 eyeballs, okay. The opening party, Kathy, is at six from six to eight p.m. on Friday night, October first. Oh, just a twenty-hour drive, Gloria Ann. That's not that bad. That's a that's a long trip, girl. I get it. Oh, but you know, Ray is gonna do some special stuff for all of you all on the in the tribe here she is gonna do so denise is gonna be around in her so ray and denise evil twin sister denise are going to host the online event so we're going to be doing short videos of the opening and all of you all who have put in orders for hold on i'm losing track five six seven eight you all are entered into some of our drawings for our online guests so they'll be pulling names denise and ray will be pulling names so you guys will get to participate even if you're not in in sandpoint idaho but there'll be more drawings here but just so you know <laughs> oh you're gonna be here for wednesday odie hmm. Hmm. we might have to maybe we'll have you on for the wednesday show that'll be fun I see. Peggy says you need to put them all in a bowl and remember the peel grapes are for, <laughs> for eyeballs. Okay. Uh, let's see. Jen Jen says, are you going to do a live for the opening? Yes, ma'am. So we're going to, I think we're going to use the same broadcast software that we have right in front of us. So if you're on YouTube, 
you'll be able to watch it on YouTube. Um, it'll be morning time, Polly's time. Uh, and then, or you can also watch it on Facebook. I did get your first order, Peggy. You're in the drawings. <laughs> I Listen, I just want to say, to be fully transparent, that Denise and Ray are not authorized to give anything away other than the raffle items. So just in case they go off the rails, you guys have to rein them back in. <laughs> oh my gosh, Franny. I missed your comment. We're, we're counting eyeballs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Four, four, five, four, five, okay, six. <laughs> Hi, Madeline. You're in Virginia, not San Diego. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, there's smoke in the air today, so I'm a little, I've had a little cough today. Judy says I'm late. That's okay, Judy. Don't worry about it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Okay, I've got 20, 20 eyeballs. There, I'm counting eyeballs right now, Judy. That's how they're coming. I think I have them all done. I hope I have them all done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I think I got them all. Let's see, one more set of ten. I am up to my eyeballs, Odie. That's a good way of putting it, girl. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Five. Uh-oh. Six. Ah, two more. Seven. Eight. Okay, two more. I can do that. Two more eyeballs. All right, look at that. I have the exact right amount of white squares. Imagine that. <laughs> I have my stacks of 10 over here. Franny, that's how I'm keeping them all straight. It's hard to believe that I'm already making plans and orders for November. It feels like the summer just came to a close and I'm already thinking about my next Omaha trip in November. It's, I, think, I feel like life moves so fast these days. Have you made the squares using strips before? You mean these squares? I have made these squares using strips before. That may have not been a bad idea, but that's not how Ms. Hartman has you cut them. <coughs> okay. Now I have to read my pattern because I'm not sure what to do. It did fly by, Madeline. I totally agree with you. 
<laughs> you qu quilt. I'll show you. Okay. Yeah, I love to, I have made them like that, but she has you cut them out in um, in squares. Let's see. All right, so each of the little eyeballs need a base to them. <clears throat> Let's see here. Aha, I love that when my, <laughs> when my math lines up good. That's great. It means I'm paying attention. Does anybody have any big weekend plans? Other than seeing evil twin Denise, I am going to be traveling to Phoenix Sunday morning. So that will, I will be there next week. So all next week I will be coming to you for the shows from Phoenix. I'm really happy about that. So Monday's night show, I'll probably take, it's supposed to be, y'all, it's supposed to be over a hundred in Phoenix this weekend. See if my in-laws and I get into a fight about the air conditioning again. This northern western girl gets hot when it's that when it's that warm outside. Can you guys hear the music? Oh, sorry. <laughs> the fire is 96% contained, Judy. The cold weather and the rain that's come in has helped to squash the fire. Oh, hey, you guys are... Nancy, how you doing? Ooh, Judy's going to a yard sale this weekend. Go see if there's any sewing stuff. <laughs> oh, good. You guys are going to tune in. Not central heating weather yet, though, thankfully. I love, I love this time of year, too. Give me all of the pumpkin spice lattes. Give me the rain boots. Give me this cozy sweaters. I love this. Polly says, this weekend I will mostly be making 200 face masks and ear protectors for uh, NHS staff. Tomorrow is jelly roll day. I'm going to a local quilt shop for a jelly roll race. Awesome. I love that. <laughs> Cassiana. I'm not supposed to have music on my YouTube channel, though. So hopefully this show does not get kicked. Let's see here. I'm a membership chair for our chapter. Oh, oh, she's got solar panels now. Yes, she does. <laughs> we can crank it. Yay, mom. Yay, mom. It was actually dad and I that were fighting about the air conditioning, not mom and I, when I go to Arizona. <laughs> Madeline says, I'm visiting my daughter in, Virgi in Reston, Virginia, going to see her compete in dressage. Very fun. Very cool. It's also green here. It's so green here compared to San Diego. I'll bet. I'll bet. I'll see if I can get some shops and see what I can find in the sewing department. Ooh, that sounds fun. Lots and lots of fabric. More fabric and notions and patterns. I've got my wallet full. Oh, LOL. <laughs> Judy, tell us what you find next week at the garage sales. My plans for this weekend are to cut out fabrics for two classes, then sew on another project. That sounds like a phenomenal weekend, actually. And Cassiana is packing a fifth wheel for winter travel. That sounds fun, too. You guys have fun stuff going on. American Sewing and Quilting, Orange County, California chapter. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I didn't know what the acronym went. Are you taking a trip, Cassiana, over on YouTube, or are you just winterizing? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Polly. Polly from UK is sending everybody positive vibes to find a featherweight at a garage sale. 
<laughs> I feel like these days that would be like winning the quilting lottery because everybody knows what they are. A good deal is hard to find. Although there was a gal on my troubleshooting group on Facebook who went to Goodwill of all places, local to her, and found a white featherweight for 20 bucks. That was a miss because you you have to usually buy them on Chop Goodwill. Oh, American Sewing so Guild, okay. I need to rest up this weekend because the following weekend I'll be taking care of my oh, seven grandchildren. Yes, take several naps, Peggy. <laughs> that makes me tired just thinking about it. Planning a trip leaving for Maine for the winter. That sounds fun. Very nice. I saw that and she's not sure. I know. She, the, la the lady who bought the white featherweight for $20 wasn't even sure she was going to keep it. And it was very funny, I thought, because a lot of the um, people on my featherweight or my Facebook group was were like, oh, if you don't want it, you can send it to me. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, let's see. I am using neon green thread, Gwen. I can't find my white thread. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, Pam Blanchard wants to know if a 401 is a good machine. I like my 301. If my if the 401s are built like the the 301s, then yes, they're very good machines. <laughs> Polly, that oh, let's see. A featherweight at a garage sale. See? I know, right? We all have the same goal. Oh, Rhonda, you have three 401s? That's cool. Do, are they similar to the, um, to the 301s? I'm just curious. She has to keep it. <laughs> she does, I think we all convinced her to keep it when so many people were like, oh, you can send that to me. That's fine. I once had a friend find one of those crinkles for $25 at a garage sale, and I offered to pay him twice what he paid for it, and he laughed at me. What do you do? What do you do? Good thing you can't tell if what color thread is on my seams on the inside of my quilt, right? Two, Polly. I would have grabbed that and run. Oh, one, four, oh, one, three, three, oh, ones. <laughs> it is cute sewing all these little eyeballs. Tonight, I have to go get the rest of my clothes out of storage. We're still living in suitcases at our household but I realized that I can't pack for a phoenix if I only have three things hanging in my closet so we will be making a trip to storage probably tomorrow so I can actually pack to come to the beautiful desert M my thread match my band-aid I think do what do you think let's see it's it is kind of a green color I think so Peggy I didn't do that on purpose I promise Although, you know how much I like green, so. It was a happy accident. Do you, I don't, Audrey, have any of my featherweight set up currently with a hand crank, 
but I do have a hand crank. Um, honestly, I haven't found one that I really, this. I haven't found a hand crank setup that I really like. Actually, that's a good idea for a show because there's two different kinds. I might do that for a show. That's not a bad idea, actually. Um, oh, good night, Franny. Thanks for joining us tonight. Kathy says, I remember you, you sewing eyeballs on earlier. It is the same pattern, yes. There's many eyeballs on this quilt. <laughs> That's funny. Fonz and Porter always uses red so we can see the stitches. Oh, yes, Missy. That's exactly why I did this. Mm -hmm. Not because I couldn't find my white thread. <laughs> Angel says, I found my featherweight with all the accessories, attachments, bobbins, and ginger scissors for $250. That's a great price. That's a great price, Angel. Good job. Let's see here. Jerry says, I went to an auction to see a featherweight and it was missing the bobbin case. Sold for $450, no bobbin case. I quit bidding as I had... <laughs> Yeah, that's not, that's not okay. Because that bobbin case is going to run you another $100. Okay, Audrey, I think that's a, Ray, will you send me a text about doing a, like an off-grid sewing? Hey, can you send me a text about a Monday night show for um, the hand cranks? So based on my research, Audrey, there's not a lot out there for, for being able to convert the featherweights, but I'll, I'll tell you what I have found on that Monday show. That's not a bad idea at all. So I, um, <laughs> I got a call this week from a nice local, local Idaho lady. Um, and she was looking to take some classes uh, for quilting and wanted to know if her eight-year-old daughter could come with her. And I was like, oh, I love this idea. I love this idea. Um, as a teacher, I've never taught any other children, obviously, other than my own. So I think that would be kind of a fun challenge for me, um, and it helps fill a need in this community for someone to teach quilting. So I, I'm kind of excited about it. I think they might sign up for my first quilting series, which is gonna be here at Sand Creek. I'm hoping to do both in-person and virtual classes um, once the shop gets open. So hopefully that will work out. Audrey, I'd love for you to email me questions specifically about what you want to know about the hand cranks with the featherweight. So I make sure I answer all of your questions. Um, if you email me your questions to info, I-N-F-O, here, I'll put it in the thing here. I-N-F-O at featherweight. I'm gonna send, put my email address in the comments. You can send me your questions because I love that idea. And I think a lot of people would find the information useful, so. Super. I know, I Peggy, I was thinking the same thing. If this goes well, she said you could have a mother-child quilting class or a grandmother-child great summer class. I know, that's what I was thinking. I I actually could just develop like an actual kid class, um, write a syllabus and stuff for something that a child would be interested in doing. Not too much rotary cutting for their little fingers, but you know what I mean. I think that's a great idea. <laughs> Hi, 
Melanie and Georgia. Thanks for joining us tonight. Judy says, I don't have a featherweight, so I'll be looking for one just so I can sew along with you. Judy, you can sew along with me with whatever you have. It doesn't have to be a featherweight. I mean, for goodness sakes, I have my 301 today. Her name is Large Marge. Yes, Odie, that is true. Those AccuQuilt die cutters are way safer for your fingers. Totally agree. And I happen to have one in the shop. What? I agree, Peggy. She said it would be great if some boys would come too. Every once in a while, I'll meet a fully grown man who knows how to sew in the household and his wife doesn't, and he does all of the mending. And I think some lady back in the day was like, you're going to learn how to do this. And it kind of makes me smile. Do the kids' patterns with it? Yes, exactly, Sandy. Yes, I think that's, a, Odie was saying the same thing over on Facebook. That's a great idea. Oh, <laughs> I lost track of time. I'm having so much fun. <gasps> Hi, George. Thanks for joining us today. All right, not sewing. Oh, not sewing. Did it? Oh, you did. All, you sewed all day. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's see. Polly says I taught all my friends' children to sew on my featherweights, and they all loved it so much. They used their parents' machines to make hair scrunchies, gym bags, and pencil cases. Perfect. I love this. Linda Wood said, I just got started, started up 4-H for a year. I love teaching the young adults to make machine, machi or to take care of their machines and sewing. 100% agree with you. <laughs> Peggy says, I hate mending. <laughs> Kathy says, breaking up again. Have a good night, ladies. I'll watch on the replay. All right. I'm actually going to jump off because it's 4.59, my time, and I'm going to get kicked off if I don't jump off. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. I will look forward to saying hi to everybody from Phoenix next week. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so show schedule should be um, right on time, 4 o'clock Pacific from Phoenix. Ooh, string backpacks. Good idea, Peggy. All right, guys. Have a good night.